Video game companies spend years finalizing their products to ensure they're of the highest caliber upon the time of release. But developers also have to ensure their games don't fall victim to another problem, generating controversy. But no matter how hard the developers try, some games are destined to have parents and politicians up in arms. And we're not talking about the usual suspects like Mortal Kombat and Manhunt. Those games were always gonna get flack. We're looking at games that would have avoided a rumpus if it wasn't for one level. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are the 10 most controversial video game levels ever. Number 10, Uprising, Battlefield 3. Because Peter was founded to protect animals, it sounds like the organization has nothing but the purest intentions. But more often than not, Peter goes way too far. Over the years, they've claimed milk causes autism, suggested the word pet is a slur, and badmouthed Steve Irwin immediately after he died. They also called Super Mario an animal killer because he wears a raccoon suit, as you do. Sadly, this isn't the only time Peter has attacked the gaming community. In the second mission of Battlefield 3, there's a section where the player is prompted to kill a rat before tossing it away. Even though thousands of people die throughout this first person shooter, it's a war game after all, Peter only took umbrage with Battlefield 3 because it quote, treats animals in a sadistic manner. They also stated the rat killing sequence will have a quote, brutalizing effect on the young male target audience. Although there's no evidence that players were traumatized by this rat being murdered, Peter's public tantrum caused Battlefield 3 to receive a lot of press, which may have indirectly led to it making more sales. Number 9. Tug of War, Paddle Battle and Pedal Power – Mario Party In the Mario series, four players must navigate around a board to obtain coins and stars. Every time the players complete their turn, they take part in a minigame. However, there were three minigames which caused a lot of problems, physically and legally. In Tug of War, Paddle Battle and Pedal Power, the player needs to spin the control stick quickly to win. Many players discovered that they could move the stick faster if they placed their palm on it and wiggled their hand around. Unfortunately, this method caused players to develop blisters and other ailments on their hands. Even though the sequel had no mini games requiring the player to spin the analog stick rapidly, Nintendo were pressured to give out free gloves with every copy of Mario Party 2, costing them, wait for it, $80 million. To avoid a similar incident, Nintendo didn't release Mario Party for the virtual console, but had no qualms releasing Mario Party 2. In fact, this incident is still being addressed in recent games. The 2021 entry, Mario Party Superstars, includes the infamous minigame Tug of War, but warns players not to use their palms to move the stick, since it will result in pain, blisters, and Nintendo getting sued. Number 8. The Fire Temple The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Mario and Zelda creator Shigeru Miyamoto always tries to avoid religious connotations in his games, to avoid offending people's faith. Nevertheless, references to religion have popped up in multiple Legend of Zelda entries, most notably Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Some players noticed that the Gerudo crest found on blocks, signs, and the mirror shield is of a crescent moon, which resembles a prominent Islam symbol. Although this issue was mild, Nintendo promised to remedy it in future ports. However, Ocarina of Time had a much bigger problem. If you listen to the background music in the Fire Temple, you can hear a group of people chanting an Islamic prayer, with the name Allah clearly heard at one point. While the context of this name isn't clear, it's a reference to the phrase, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. Because of how stringent Nintendo is with their policies, it's baffling how the game testers didn't think this music was a problem. You probably hear the song like 20 times while playing through the temple. When the game was re-released, this section of the music was removed with a MIDI synthesizer. Number 7. A lot of levels are censored. South Park Stick of Truth since Matt Stone and Trey Parker's cartoon debuted, it's caused a stir worldwide. So when Ubisoft developed the RPG South Park The Stick of Truth, everyone was expecting the game to be slapped with an R rating. However, fans were astonished to learn the game failed to receive a rating from the censor boards in Europe and Australia. The Stick of Truth was eventually released in Europe and Australia, but certain levels were removed, including the anal probe and the abortion clinic sequence. The censors, however, were totally okay with the part where you have to avoid avoid your dad's testicles teabagging you to death. That flew under the radar somehow. As a result, these missions were replaced with an image of the European flag or a crying koala, depending on where you're residing. I got the latter. The bottom of the screen has a piece of text describing what happens in the sections you aren't allowed to play. The biggest issue with this decision is how it screws up the gameplay and the story. At one point, you get abducted on a UFO, break free, anally probe someone, and then battle aliens to escape.
escape. But since the sensor board removed the anal probe segment, the player misses an entire section. Because there are seven censored missions, including the final one, it makes the game feel incomplete. Number six, Shy Guys Perplex Express, Mario Party 8. Mario Party might seem like a harmless game for kids, but it managed to create controversy not once, but twice. 10 years after the original Mario Party debacle, Nintendo found themselves in the middle of another dispute thanks to Mario Party 8. The game itself is considered among the weakest in the series, with critics taking issue with the poorly constructed single player and the lack of creative minigames. But over time, the only critique anyone remembers from Mario Party 8 was an unfortunate encounter with the robed Magikoopa Kamek. When you encounter Bowser's lieutenant in Shy Guy's Perplex Express, he uses a specific word to reference the train's movements. Although the word he uses means spasm-like movement in America, it's considered a derogatory term in England and Ireland, forcing Mario Party 8 to be recalled in Europe. It was eventually re-released in Europe, with the flagrant word changed to erratic. Even though the situation was a simple misunderstanding, it encouraged Nintendo to have the English localizations of all their properties reviewed by American and British employees to ensure such an occurrence never happened again. Number 5. By the Book Grand Theft Auto 5 Because Grand Theft Auto has the player driving around and shooting passes by, you can understand why this series has been controversial since it debuted back in 97. So when GTA 5 was released in 2013, you'd think people would be desensitized by the game's violence. But this installment received so much controversy, it has its own Wikipedia page, which is actually pretty impressive. News outlets, concerned parents, and British Labour Party MP Keith Vaz were demanding the game be banned due to its portrayal of murder, misogyny, and sexual violence. However, it was the mission by the book which drew the most ire. In this section, everyone's favourite lunatic Trevor interrogates a man to extract information about a terrorist suspect. To complete the mission, you need to use multiple torture techniques, including electrocution, teeth removal, and waterboarding. Some players saw this horrific sequence as a political commentary, while others believed it was put in the game purely for shock value. The controversy spawned from this mission was so relentless, it led to Grand Theft Auto V being banned from certain retailers. Number 4. Manji Dungeon – The Legend of Zelda The criticism with the original Legend of Zelda is unique. Players had an issue with one dungeon, not because of its content, but because of its structure. You see, each dungeon you enter has a specific shape. One dungeon is shaped like a bird, another is shaped like a crescent, another is shaped like a snake, and so on. The third dungeon is shaped like a manji, which is a Japanese symbol that represents structure and patterns. Unfortunately, the manji is known by a different name in the Western world, the swastika. Because the swastika was used by the Nazi regime to represent their twisted cause, the symbol has been synonymous with evil ever since. However, the manji was used in Japan a thousand years before World War II. It's also been used by many cultures and religions throughout history to represent peace, hope, honor, and love. But this wasn't common knowledge back in the 1980s, so many Westerners assumed that Nintendo snuck the swastika into the game to indoctrinate players with that Nazi ideology. Even though it was all a big misunderstanding, it's pretty weird that one of Nintendo's biggest IPs contains this infamous symbol. Number 3. Mountain Temple – Tomb Raider The 2013 remake of Tomb Raider created a mountain of controversy before release due to a scene that occurs early in the game. While exploring the mountain temple, Lara Croft is captured and bound by mercenaries. While navigating through the hideout to find a means of escape, one soldier grabs Lara, triggering a quick time event. If the player doesn't respond quickly, the man will strangle Lara to death. If the player inputs the correct sequence of attacks, she will break free and kill her attacker. This scene is meant to be impactful, being that it's the first time Lara Croft takes a human life. This became one of the most memorable moments in the series, but not for the reason that the developers hoped. Just before the attacker strangles Lara, he makes a movement as if he's preparing to sexually assault her. Even though Tomb Raider has zero depiction of rape, news outlets across the world condemned the game due to this scene's implication. Although the game is 18 rated and has some incredibly gory moments, nothing caused more more debate than this section. Number 2. No Russian – Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 You know a level's going to be controversial when the game gives you the option to skip it entirely. That was the case with the fourth mission
version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, No Russian. In this segment, you play as an undercover CIA agent who infiltrated a Russian terrorist agency. To gain their trust, you must take part in a mass shooting in a Moscow airport alongside them. Even though you don't have to shoot anyone to complete this mission, the fact that you had the choice to gun down civilians was too horrifying for major news publications to ignore. The outcry was so intense, the level's violence was toned down in international versions, and removed entirely from the Russian version. The developing team Infinityware could have avoided all this strife if they'd stuck to the original plan of having the player battle zombies in this level, but after the fantasy elements were removed, lead writer Jesse Stern reworked the mission so the protagonist would be involved in a terrorist attack. Upon researching the Columbine High School massacre, Stern thought that having the player being directly involved in the attack was a great way to quote, put you as close as possible to atrocity. Despite the outcry no Russian caused, the level was included in the remastered version. Number 1. Chapter 1 Jackson, The Chalet, The Last of Us Part 2 Spoilers ahead for The Last of Us Part 2 in case you haven't played it yet, and let's get into it. The Last of Us Part 2 may have won more awards than any game in history, but that doesn't change the fact that it also garnered a ton of hate. But what makes this game different from Call of Duty or GTA is how the controversy did not stem from the media. Instead, it came from the players. Even though there are many issues which infuriated fans, the most shocking moment was when antagonist Abby beats Joel to death with a golf club. Since this story takes place in a post-apocalyptic society, killing off the main character of the series doesn't sound too surprising. But the reason why so many people People were pissed off is because Joel is killed at the beginning of the game. Because he was the protagonist of the first Last of Us, everyone assumed it would be the same for the follow-up. The trailers gave every indication you would play as Joel, so fans felt cheated to see him being snuffed out after only playing as the character for an hour. Some players were so enraged they review bombed the game to oblivion and sent death threats to the actress who portrayed Joel's killer, which of course we shouldn't have to say here is super not cool. That is the end of our list, but let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other entries for the most controversial video game levels ever. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great gaming content. Thank you.